A third part of our main course features the Japanese Cultural Center of Hawaii. Our producer Greg Veloria was able to visit the JCCH, featuring the Okage Sama Day exhibit and the Hono Uli Uli Education Center, and spoke to JCCH Executive Director Nate Gyotoku. Aloha! The Japanese Cultural Center of Hawaii, located in the Mo'ili'ili area of Honolulu, was started in 1987, and the current building opened in 1994. We visited Nate Kyotoku, President and Executive Director at the Japanese Cultural Center of Hawaii, to learn more about the center. So the JCCH was founded in 1987 um, by the Honolulu Japanese Chamber of Commerce. Um, so the land we sit on used to be the uh, Chambers Clubhouse and then they formed the Cultural Center and um, built the Cultural Center that you see today. Um, so we're actually celebrating our uh, 35th anniversary this year. And um, you know, the, the facility has our administration offices but also the Okage Samade and Gallery and the Hono Uli Uli Education Center the Kenshikan Dojo, a Sekuan Tea House, and of course our ballrooms on the top floor. Nate took over his current role during the pandemic and had to find creative ways of reaching their audience that was isolated by the pandemic. So um, normally, pre-COVID, we would offer tours of Okage Samo Day um, and, um, and the Hono Uli Uli Education Center. Um, but since COVID hit, we've been closed. Um, we have reopened um, and the gift shop and the Hono Uli Uli Education Center is open, but the Okage Sama Day Gallery is still closed. Um, but what we did instead is we did a virtual tour um, of the Okage Sama Day Gallery with our docents, our volunteer docents, and we have that posted on our YouTube channel. So we're, we're trying to create content to go out to our, our um, members and to our um, students instead of waiting for them to come to us. One of the original exhibits at the center is the Okage Sama Day exhibit, which tracks the history of the Japanese in the Hawaiian Islands. Yeah, the Okage Sama Day exhibit is actually about 30 years old itself too. Um, so it was opened in the, in the mid 90s um, and it's based on a, a book by uh, Jane Komeji, uh, which is entitled Okage Sama Day. And uh, herself, Tom Kobe, um, they, they kind of curated the whole the whole exhibit, and um, you know it it really chronicles the history of our community from the Ganin Mono, so the first arrivals in um, 1868, um, through plantation life to um, war and then post-war Hawaii. So it's a real um, nice kind of overview of of the history of our, our, our community here in Hawaii. Honolulu Uli is a site that was discovered where Japanese, Japanese Americans were incarcerated after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. So uh, originally Honolulu Uli um, was, the, the, the journey to rediscovery started in about 1997. Um, our research center uh, across, um, across the courtyard there, which is our research um, library, got a phone call from a local TV station um, doing a story about Schindler's List. And they asked about Hawaii having an intern internment camp. Um, and at the time, we didn't know. We didn't have any information. Um, but that kind of sparked our volunteers. And the volunteers are the ones that started doing the research and the legwork. And as they started digging, they started to find um, stories. Uh, more and more people, families started to come out and, and um, mentioned that they were incarcerated and then we started to find out more about the Hawaii, the Hawaii incarceration story. Although the actual Honolulu Uli site near Waipahu is still closed by the National Park Service, you can still learn a lot about Honolulu Uli at the center's Honolulu Uli Education Center. So on our website, um, we actually do have an online internee database. Um, that we've been putting together of the Hawaii uh, people who got incarcerated. Um, so they can start there. And we do, we, we do a pretty good job of um, tracking that um, person's movement through different camps. So if they ended up at Honolulu Uli, they might be at Sand Island and Honolulu Uli. But if some of them went to, a lot of them did go to the continent. So we'll, we'll track their movements. 
Um, they can come here to get some information and then they can also visit our resource center. And um, usually we have a, a lot more information there too for them. The center is 10 minutes away by car from Ala Moana and off exit 24 Bingham Street off H1. The center is open 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Wednesday through Saturday. Please go to their Facebook page for the latest information and don't forget to check out their great gift shop. This is Greg Gloria from the Michi Bay Cafe. Mahalo.